Diwali season has come to an end. The party in stock market also ended. The markets and retail portfolios were back to bleeding today. The last leg of results are coming out. Today, one of the results was of Trent. The stock was beaten down severely. There was a bit of recovery towards the end. The stock closed at 6500. That's down 500 points in a single day. And we'll talk about the results in the nugget section today. Were they that bad? Now a lot of us are right now worrying what FIs are doing, whether they are staying in India, whether they are leaving for China, Japan. I was trying to understand why would they move out of India if they were to move out. This data is courtesy Trading Economics. This is the data for last five years. Only one quarter is where China has reported a dip in exports. Yes, after pandemic, the exports rose a lot. The bars are not that high, but after this dull period of nearly one year. that is where china's economy was really down the blue bars are back now obvious question is how is india doing we are literally alternating there is no consistency of export growth effectively most of these bars are netting out hope these two graphs gives you good input for your own understanding of how india is doing with exports how china is doing and would fis have motivation to move to china at this juncture back to the markets the markets reverse today the star of the day was apollo hospital in the last two or three episode i have mentioned that healthcare is doing best in terms of making money for the investors apollo hospital in fact made a lifetime high today what was down today hindalco bad results from its subsidiary novalis trent which we'll talk about in the nugget section this is a new style of representing the dashboard So let me know in the comment section if this kind of makes more sense, or we'll get back to the old one. This number in bracket shows the number in Nifty Fifty. For example, Apollo Hospital is a number forty-seven stock in Nifty by market cap. The number one stock Reliance was at the bottom of the heap today, contributing most to the downfall of Nifty, followed by ICICI Bank, Trent, Bharti Airtel, and Hindalco. What was taking Nifty up? Apollo Hospital. SBI, TCS, HDFC Life, and Larson Tobro. This symbol of H means Apollo Hospital made a new high today. This dashboard will tell you visually the contribution. Reliance Industries contributed lot more to the downside than Apollo to the upside. That is why Nifty was down so much. Next Nifty was no better. It was also reverse. Now MSCI rebalancing is cruel if you are on the wrong side. The MSCI index did not include Adani Energy. That is because they are awaiting for some clarity on the shareholding patterns, whether the fair float is good enough or not to include the stock. The stock was beaten down ten percent in a single day. Bottom two companies, next fifty, Adani Group, Vedanta Energy fell a lot today. So did DLF and Madarsan Sumi. I still use the old name Madarsan Sumi for Samardhan Madarsan. The Madarsan wiring part, which got hived off, that's obviously a separate company. JSW Energy, Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, or HAL, Gale, NHPC, Siemens, they were taking next fifty up. This dashboard style is the old one, the heat map one. Direction totally reversed today for this graph. All five big sectors were in the red. Today the size of the fall was pretty much balanced. There was not just one sector on the red side. Adani Enterprises, though it was down today, it has gone up so much in the last two weeks that diversified retail is still at the top. This is what I was talking about. Healthcare is contributing a lot to investor portfolios right now. This is the trend. Coal India, D Mart, Airtel are dragging retail portfolios most right now. These sectors are dominated by a single stock. Look at the cuts in oil sector today. This is the complete energy pack. Reliance down one and a half percent gave up all the gains from yesterday. HPCL, which I sold yesterday, that was up. IOCL, BPCL, which I have bought, they were down. The power pack was a similar story. Only JSW Energy that was up today. Vari Energy and Premier Energy they both realized that I have bought them in my portfolio, so both of them fell. in general they were doing 7-8% upside every day otherwise today i ran out of quota for my apis so these graphs are updated only till about 2 o'clock but these numbers are the final numbers for the day nifty fell till 10 o'clock then it consolidated in a very narrow range yesterday bank nifty was up and that consolidated in a very narrow range if you are a option buyer there is nothing for you 
रिलायंस बिलो द लाइन होल्डे टी सी एस फेल एंड देन कंसॉलीडेटेड इन्फोसिस फेल एंड देन कंसॉलीडेटेड आई सी आई सी डाउन एयरटेल एच डी एफ सी द फिफ्टी टू वीक हाई लो हाउ एवर इज टिल ग्रीन दैट इज बिकॉज द कट्स वर नॉट वेरी बिग टूडे ओनली टी सी एस हैड गुड वॉल्यूम्स टूडे बैंक निफ्टी नॉट वेरी डिफरेंट ओनली एस बी आई एंड माइनर अपटेक इन बैंक ऑफ बड़ौदा वॉल्यूम्स वर शेलो सेलेक्टिव बैंक इन द प्राइवेट बैंक सेक्शन आर डूइंग प्रिटी वेल करूर व्यासा फेडरल बैंक दे हिट न्यू हाइज टूडे दे आर इन द ग्रीन जोन सो इज एच डी एफ सी बैंक वेरी क्लोज टू इट्स फिफ्टी टू वीक हाई आई सोल्ड मोस्ट ऑफ माई स्टॉक्स इन द इन्वेस्टमेंट पैक यस्टरडे टूडे इट वॉज इन अ लॉट ऑफ ट्रबल ओनली बी एस सी विच गॉट इंक्लूडेड इन एम एस सी आई दैट वॉज अप अ लॉट जे एम फाइनेंशियल विच आई स्टिल होल्ड दैट वॉज अप बट द एम सीज वर डाउन अ लॉट मोतियाल ओसवाल निपॉन थ्री सिक्सटी वन आई सी आई सी आई नुवामा मेड अ न्यू हाई दैट वॉज अप अ बिट सो वॉज एच डी एफ सी द गुड पार्ट इज दैट द ग्रीन जोन आर स्टिल देयर एन बी एफ सी इज वर नॉट लुकिंग गुड एट ऑल टूडे ऑल रेड पी एफ सी आर ई सी ऑल्सो अ परसन डाउन एंड देर इज ऑल रेड इन माइक्रो फाइनेंस टूडे आई टी वॉज रेड बट इट डिड नॉट गिव अप ऑल द गेन्स फ्रॉम येस्टरडे येस्टरडे इज गेन्स वर थ्री टू फोर परसेंट दिस सेक्टर ऑल्सो इंजॉय इज बींग इन द ग्रीन राइट नाउ नो प्रॉब्लम टिल दिस ग्रीन जोन इज इंटैक्ट इनफैक्ट मोस्ट टॉक्स अटेम्प्टेड अ रिकवरी इन द सेकेंड हाफ एंड विद इन दिस क्योस परसिस्टेंट मेड अ न्यू हाई नो रिस्पाइट फॉर द ऑटो सेक्टर Only minor greens in Ola, Apollo, RK Forging. The good things is volume was not very high. Market cap at times can be comical. Only HL was up a percent and was gone down point three percent. But the other stocks in this sector they were bleeding. Yet the sector was up point one percent. Zen Technologies continues to be in the green. Nothing with strong volumes today. Yesterday Hindustan Zinc fell because of the offer for sale. Today Hindalco fell nine percent because of the poor results from its subsidiary Novelis. The exits today in this stock were on good volumes. We now have three red players in the consumption pack. The edible one, Tata Consumer, has also joined. Nestle and Dabur is back. Consumption is not looking good. We will talk more about trend in the nugget section, but that was down most seven percent. look at the jump in volumes as soon as the results came just before the result it was at the highest point of the day and in an hour it fell to the lowest point of the day nearly 11% compared to the annual numbers however not much damage is done yet when reliance is down so much nifty cannot be up much and when both icici and hdfc are down bank nifty cannot be up nifty it cracked but not much nifty energy because oil and power both were down that was down 1.5% mid caps down a percent auto down 1.4 fi is continue to sell di is continue to buy but the mismatch is there now nearly 3000 crores who is absorbing this fall retail now jet airways shareholders supreme court has ordered liquidation in any case if the jalans had bought the aircraft the sh- existing shareholders not were not supposed to get anything people don't read the fine print swiggy's ipo is not doing well at all the gmps have dipped further retail will buy and they will suffer now mnm has been going up like a rocket the net profit rose 35% now this may sound a bit contradictory because auto sector is not doing well the cars are piling up Remember when the new models were lined up there were advance bookings of 1 to 2 years for MNM when Thar was released there were advance bookings of 6 months 8 months all the new inventory which MNM has been creating that's already booked people have to take delivery trend q2 results profit jumps 46% year on year to 423 crore revenue up 40% what do you think the results are good bad Page Industries Q2 net profit up 30 percent at 195 crore versus 150 crore year on year. This is looking good. This is not looking good. Yesterday you were celebrating Donald Trump's win. I don't know what you are sulking about today because U.S. markets were celebrating like anything yesterday night. See Nasdaq up 3 percent, S&P 2.53 percent. Why is IT down today? Are we decoupled on a good day? Gold and silver continued to correct. No big cuts. 
However, the ETF prices have suddenly crashed. Silver ETF are down nearly 3% today. Bitcoin is still around 75,000. Rupee is still around 84.3. Brent is still around 75. Nothing has changed in the world. My trades for the day. Today, I bought more of Indian Oil Corporation. Today, I've reached my 5 units. So I will probably pause right now on the current levels of IOC and I like the results of trend. I'll talk about them in the nugget section next. So I bought trend. I had sold several consumption stocks about a month back. Trend was one of them. I still haven't bought back HUL. I still haven't bought back Page Industries. Satin's results are tomorrow. I'm not very optimistic. So I sold a part of the portfolio. Spandana Spurti was down 17% after the results. This stock may get the punishment. So I'll probably buy back at that price. I've taken the risk. It may go up 15-20% also because it is oversold right now. Because of this particular sale in loss, which I expect to buy back very soon. Today's gains are red and it was an investment day. Trent, why did retail panic? Some of the news channels carried a single line called sequential which is Q on Q, not Y on Y. How many times have you seen stock results compared Q on Q? Why was Trent singled out? Can you guess? Because most of the news channels are from a competitor of Trent. All the brands Trent carry, they have a competition with all these brands. This is how it has been doing for last 11 days. Only two green days. This was the Mahura trading day. Won't even count that. And retail sold in huge bulk throw it on the street. Now my favorite part, shareholding pattern first. Promoters have not touched their holding at all, 37%. FIs have sold a little, about 1.2%. DIs have slightly only increased, 13.18 becoming 13.4. Retail has increased their holding. But since these numbers are not very big, I am not overly worried right now. because the quarterly numbers, 4157 crore, 2982 crore, this is good. Expenses 3514 crore, 2526 crore. This is fine. In fact, operating margin is same 15%. This was same in June, higher than March. Other income 54 crore. This was 105 crore previous year. This was 102 crore pre previous quarter. This is low, but this is other income only. Interest income also year on year is low. As a result, profit of 467 crore. That is lower than previous June. This is a sequential number which was getting reported. But this is way higher than profit before tax of September. Now, one very interesting part. Look at this tax number, 28%. Look at this tax number, 27%. What is below them? 22, 23, 22, 21. This is an aberration. 24, this is an aberration. 22. So, in September, for whatsoever reason, this company pays extra tax. And next quarters, it enjoys more margins, more money because of tax being paid here. It's not a very big amount, but still it makes a little difference. As a result, the EPS number year on year is good, but Q on Q, there is a slight dip. And this is what caused a 6-7% crash in the price of the share, which is already down for nearly a month. I'll tell you one interesting element. This is the official result sheet. Let's consider a number of revenue of 4156 crore, roughly 4000 crores. The profit number is of the tune of 400 crores. The difference is of the tune of 40 crores, roughly 50 crores maybe. This is hardly 1% of the revenue, 1%. How much has the stock fallen in one month? How much did the stock fall today? Was this reaction justified? Yes, the P of this stock is very high. After these results, probably it will be something like a 120. But this is not today. This has been like this for two years. This stock went up like rocket. Retail bought what FIs, DIs sold. Today, retail sold. I don't know who bought. Retail loses these battles because of the inability to read results. Will this stock go up tomorrow or next week? I don't know, but I have bought. I have not bought up to the entire limit I want to. So I bought two units. I can go up to five units on this stock if it falls more. Hope this section was useful. This is not an investment advice. This is only for educational purpose. Thanks for watching. I will see you tomorrow.